Hey guys, it's Darwin. So here on the channel, we typically do videos about long distance hiking and weekend backpacking, but something that we never touch on and that I get a lot of questions about is day hiking. What size pack do I need? How many liters of water should I carry? What types of snacks should I have? And what type of extra gear do I need on a day hike? So since I'm here in Joshua Tree National Park and doing a long hike today, I figured I would take the opportunity to break my pack down and show you what gear that I carry on a day hike. So Snuggles and I have been doing a lot of day hiking lately in northern Arizona. We just got back from the Grand Canyon and now we're in Joshua Tree National Park in Southern California. Been doing a ton of day hiking and it got me thinking we've never really did a video talking about that basic pack setup of what you need when you're going out for the day. So I figured I would break down my pack setup for today and show you what I'm carrying. So typically the pack that I like to carry on a day hike is gonna be anywhere from 15 liters to 30 liters. Now it all depends on where I'm hiking and what gear that I'm needing for the day. Now whether that means I need to carry extra water, extra snacks, if I think that I'm gonna go rock climbing and need to carry some climbing gear. But I think that that's a really good range for a day pack just to make sure that you're not carrying too much gear but you do have enough gear just in case you get into a situation. So the pack that I carry about 90% of the time is the Osprey Escapist 18. I absolutely love this pack. Now the reason I picked this pack up a long time ago was I wanted a bike packing pack and this seemed perfect. It was 18 liters so I could still carry some of my gear. It had an integrated rain cover. I could use a hydration bladder in it if I wanted to. It had this nice big stretch mesh pocket on the outside and it had a breathable backscape. So to me, this is like a perfect day hiking pack. Now Osprey makes a ton of awesome day packs and a lot of other companies do. This is just my favorite. Now when I did a really long day hike in the Grand Canyon last week, I actually carried the Z-Pax Nero pack just because I was carrying more water, more food, I needed more gear because it was a 17 mile hike and I was out there for about eight hours pretty long hike going down into the Grand Canyon and coming back up. But out here in Joshua Tree, this is a perfect pack for this hiking. All right, so what do I typically carry in this pack? Well, let's open up the top zipper. And what I typically carry in my top zipper is gonna be either a buff or a bandana. Now you guys know that I'm a buff fan. I love these things. They're great for everything. Good for wiping your nose, good for sun protection. It's good as a sweat rag and anything else that you need this for. So this is always in my day pack and it's always up here so I can grab it real quick. Next up are going to be a pair of sunglasses. Now, especially hiking in the desert, I always carry a pair of sunglasses. I'd say about 95% of the time, I never use them, but they're always in my pack just in case I get in a situation where I really need to protect my eyes, like, well, out here in Joshua Tree, where it's usually really bright and really open. Next up is going to be my phone. I always keep my phone up here so I can access it really quickly to either take a picture, make an emergency call, or use an app for hiking. So typically I use the gut hook apps um, or some sort of hiking app like that. So I want that up there in case I need to grab it and find out where I'm going. Now in a national park, I usually don't use an app. I will grab the park map that they usually supply you with when you're coming through the main gate and do it old school and stick to a paper map. And then the last thing that I'm gonna keep up here in the top are some really important things, which are snacks. I always keep at least a handful of bars, like a protein bar, some sort of a cliff bar, or if I think that I'm gonna be going out for a really long hike, I'll keep some packs of tuna, maybe a few bagels, to make sure that I have calories that I can replenish myself with after a long day of hiking. I wanna make sure that I have enough food just in case something was to happen and I have to eat dinner on the trail. All right, and then that's it for the top pouch. That's all I'm gonna keep up here. Uh, next up, we have this big mesh pouch on the outside. Now I only really keep one thing in that mesh pouch and that's gonna be my ditty bag. Now this is the same ditty bag that I carry if I'm gonna be doing a long distance hike, a weekend backpacking trip, or even car camping. I always have this thing loaded up and in my gearbox where I can just grab it and throw it in whatever pack that I'm gonna be carrying. Now at all times inside of my ditty bag, I carry toiletries, I carry a first aid kit, 
I carry a lighter, I'm gonna carry a flashlight or a headlamp and a knife. That's always gonna be in my ditty bag that I can grab really quick, throw it in my pack, just in case I need one of those items. All right, so I typically like any pack that's gonna have side pouches and just like every pack that I own, this one also has two side pouches. So typically in one pouch, I'll carry at least one liter of water. Now, if I think that I'm gonna be going out for a really long time and I'm gonna be going out in some desert terrain where I can easily get dehydrated, I'll definitely carry two liters of water. Or sometimes every once in a while, and it's a rare occasion, I will carry a hydration bladder. Now this pack is set up for a hydration bladder and I don't typically like them, but again, if I'm gonna be doing some sort of a bike packing trip or somewhere where I really need a lot of water and I know that I'm gonna be out for an extended amount of time without having any type of water source, I'll put that in there. But it's always good to stay hydrated on the trail, especially when you're in the desert. And then on the other side of the pack, in the other pouch, I always keep a water filter. So in here right now, I have my Sawyer squeeze water filter, and then I have my knock dirty water bag. So that's a two liter bag. So in case I do run into a problem and I do find a water source, I do have an emergency bag to carry more water to where I can up this guy to three liters of water at one time. In the main compartment, I typically carry a handful of articles of clothing. Now, 90% of the time I only carry two things and that's gonna be either a wind jacket or a rain jacket. Like today, we're in Joshua Tree. I know it's not gonna rain out here, so I will carry a really light wind jacket just in case it gets chilly, it gets windy, and I need a way to break the wind. Now, if we were somewhere on the East Coast, like on the Appalachian Trail, I'd swap this out for a rain jacket just in case I got caught in a downpour. I wanna make sure that I can keep myself somewhat dry. And then aside from the wind or rain jacket, I always, always, always carry a thermal jacket. Now, whether that is a down jacket or a synthetic thermal jacket, I always carry one in my pack. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm going out in the early morning, if I'm going out at night, if I'm going out in the desert, or if I'm going up into high alpine, I always carry a thermal layer just in case the temperature was to drop and I needed to warm myself up. I think that carrying some sort of a down jacket or a thermal insulating shell is always a good idea just in case that situation arises and I need to warm myself up. Now you guys know that I'm a trekking pole guy and about 90% of the time, I carry some sort of pair of trekking poles. Now lately I've been carrying the Knox Vertex carbon cork ones because they fold up really small. So even if I'm not gonna use them, these fit really small into one of my side pouches. And I don't know, I like hiking with trekking poles. It's just something I always do, whether I'm hiking up a mountain, down a mountain, or through a flat desert. I like them because it, it helps me pace and it just, gives me a better stride and makes me feel better. So trekking poles are something that I always have on a day hike. And then the last thing that I carry on a day hike is a good camera. So typically I'll carry a GoPro or my small point and shoot Canon GX7 camera, but today I'm actually carrying my full size camera with an extra lens because I'm out in a national park and I wanna shoot really good photos and really good video. So a camera is definitely something that's always in my pack not always going to be in everyone's pack and most people will just use a phone to grab their photos but for me capturing that experience of being in a national park or being out in nature for the day because typically if I'm going to do a day hike I'm going out to find something in particular whether it's a waterfall some sort of a canyon some sort of destination or natural wonder that I want to capture on film so I always make sure that I have a good camera. So that's it guys, that's all that I carry on a typical day hike. So what's some go-to gear that you always carry in your day pack setup? Leave me something in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures from some past hikes, plus a lot of pictures from day hikes. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and as always guys, Thanks for watching.